On Monday night, Donald Trump took to Twitter to boldly predict another election win in 2020, as well as a Republican overhaul in the House and a continued Republican stronghold in the Senate. However, if all of those things are actually going to happen, one thing that must be addressed is his plan, or lack thereof, to invalidate and subsequently replace the Affordable Care Act. While Trump's aim in those tweets was to suggest that Republicans are working on a plan that will be better than Obamacare, less expensive than Obamacare, will protect pre-existing conditions, and more, it appears he missed the mark. Based exclusively on in his March budget, Trump's plan appears to be one in which richer Americans can do just fine buying their own health care and leaves vulnerable populations with less medical care. At this point, though, no one really knows what to make of his so-called plan, and Trump realizes this. As a result, he continues to buy time with his usual trust-me routine, hoping that voters will do just that. With enough trust and votes between now and the 2020 election, and once he wins, then, and probably only then, will he reveal the plan. However, I'm not so sure this strategy will actually pan out. At the going rate, it is unclear that any Republicans are even working on a legitimate plan to revise the ACA, so how is anyone to believe that they ever will? Regardless of the answer to that question, it's certainly one the Republicans would rather not be asked as we head into the 2020 election cycle, especially considering 34 Senate seats will be up for grabs in 2020, and 22 of them are held by Republicans. But I digress. If Trump and the Republicans want to bring health care conversations back to life, then by all means, let them. However, the Democrats will need to keep those conversations going so that voters will see through the facade, particularly if they want to retain the House majority and reclaim the Senate and White House.